Guten Morgen, OpenStack Berlin. I'm Joseph Sandoval. I am with the Adobe Advertising Cloud. I'm a SRE manager there, running a team that has open infrastructure at scale of 100,000 cores. I'm also part of the user committee, as well as been part of this OpenStack community for over five years now, and have truly enjoyed being part of this community and what it brings. One thing about the OpenStack community that, and the foundation that I have really truly appreciated is how they have shown their commitment to diversity and inclusion with various programs. These programs are so important and key to the health of our community as they really help connect people to the technology, especially individuals who, you know, we find that they are on the, you know, underrepresented or the marginalized. And so by having these programs, as Kendall outlined, it really helps to restore kind of really uh, a balance that's needed in our communities. Especially now, as we're hearing so much in regards to diversity and inclusion, it's like a topic that is very hot in the tech community. And even for myself, I'm very passionate about it because in my career, and coming from a very non-traditional background, from a family of farmers, and being able to make this transition in the Silicon Valley into a career in technology, I find that I'm very passionate about it. But you know, it was recent that I was at an event a couple weeks ago where there was an interesting way that a young woman really contextualized this for me, and I really thought about this a bit. And that's in regards to when we think about diversity and inclusion. And she used the phrase balance and belonging. And what I thought was so good about that is because when you think about balance, and we just look about our day-to-day -day life, there, we don't think about gender diversity. We really just think about it. It's, it's a natural order. There's a balance out there as well as that environment of belonging or creating that and why it's so important with community. Because oftentimes there's individuals like myself, you know, and other, other minorities or in, uh, gender minorities that they often struggle with finding their place and feeling like they belong. And that's why mentorship is so key and has been one thing that really had helped me because I wouldn't be standing here today if it wasn't for three individuals who helped shepherd me, guided me, and helped strengthen and hone my skills so that I could know that I had a place and that I belonged in communities like this. I think about that a bit, and here I am 25 years in my career, and I didn't realize that there was a common thread that carried through. These three individuals were women who really looked after me. They looked at the internal individual, and they saw that there was a lot of potential, and as well as like, helped me to realize that, you know, that I had something to contribute. So, you know, we think about now, now how do we continually shepherd this? How do we continually grow it? And especially in the work that I've been doing with, not only within OpenStack, because one thing here at the summits is a great opportunity. You know, as an operator, I think it's really important to be mentoring and sharing what you learned. And I've done that with two different teams. One where we had demos at Tokyo, where we were showing what we were doing with Kubernetes, with the Croc Hunter demo, as well as recently as last year about how we're running lean infrastructure at Adobe Advertising Cloud. Similarly, Mentorship is also key with the programs that have been outlined. And for myself, I've been using open source as a way to help, especially when it comes to individuals who have a non-traditional background. We're seeing a lot of individuals like now wanting to be a part of this. And what I found is that sometimes you kind of reach challenges about how do you get some individuals into these companies or even getting into that door. And that's why I started realizing that OpenStack is a strategic platform that I believe is going to enable diversity. And how I've been using it is really helping individuals that I've been meeting and mentoring and bringing them along and pointing them in directions of open source projects that I think like, hey, you should get involved here. And they can learn, and they can really find their place within those communities. And it gives them the technical acumen so that they can be able to succeed and find their ways. Because the one big challenge that we're still seeing is that there's a leaky pipeline of individuals of trying to find their ways in. So that's why I feel like it's very important for us as the OpenStack community, when we get new members, we have a lot of great programs that really help support individuals coming in this route, and they'll be able to help teach them and help them to grow. And when you just think about mentorship, the, the one thing I can honestly say with, with the mentorship that I've done within OpenStack, or even within the, the, the work that I've done even outside of it, is that oftentimes it comes in various forms, and that's really where you know, I really had to come to realize is that not all of us have are in a position to fully dedicate ourselves. Sometimes we're so busy that, you know, it can seem challenging. But over the years, I've realized that you can deliver it in a lot of different ways. Just recently, I had a chance to connect with my hometown, and it's a little small farming town in Watsonville, California. 
It's just, just a community of farmers. And I've had a chance to connect with an incubator there where you know, they asked me to participate. And what I found was that just you know, having an opportunity to just sit down and just you know, having a lunch, sharing what I know, my experiences, and similar to what I had been given, I found that if I just can really help them feel like, hey, you could have a career in this. You belong in this community. We need your voice, how impactful that can be. As well as that, there's other things that we can do where uh, I had an individual who reached out to me and we connected. And I dragged him along to my meetups. I had him come to my stand-ups. But I really wanted to show him that, you know, you, this is, it's, let me take some of the magic away from what this is and help them to see that, you know, he's, so, he's getting close to being able to be in that position as well. And so with the programs that we're outlined, there's many ways that you can participate as well. Uh, sometimes there may seem like a big commitment, but with OpenStack cohorts, you could break that down. But it's a really one of those chop wood, carry water type of things. And there's many in this audience I know who are doing this. And the one thing I could just say is just show up and support these programs. These programs need you. Thank you. <laughs>